Hi, I'm Emily Mainquist, owner of Emily's Desserts in Baltimore, Maryland, Baltimore's first vegan bakery, and I am also the author of Sweet Vegan, which is a 100% vegan cookbook coming out on Earth Day of this year, April 22nd. And today I'm going to be making a delicious Dutch apple pie from the cookbook. And the Dutch apple pie is one of my favorite recipes. I would make it all the time with my mom when I was younger. And it's one of my fondest memories growing up, looking in the oven window and seeing the top bubble. It was so exciting and I just couldn't wait to have a piece of the pie. And I hope you feel the same way too after you make it. So the first thing you're going to do when making a Dutch apple pie is you're going to make the crust. And it's so simple and easy, it's only four ingredients. Once you make it, you'll never buy a frozen pie crust again, so it's nothing to be afraid of. So the first thing we do is we soften the shortening, and I use a palm shortening, so there's no hydrogenated oil, so it's much heart healthier for you. And so we just add this in, and you just wanna mix it at medium speed. Scrape down the bowl a little bit. Let's get it off the sides. And now you're gonna add your flour. And your salt. Okay, so once those three ingredients are combined, you add your chilled water, and this will help form the dough. So you're gonna put it back on medium speed and you're gonna add your water in. Okay, so it's been about 30 seconds. And if you feel like your dough is not at the right consistency, you can add another tablespoon of water and mix it and see if it forms a soft dough. And looking at mine, it looks like it's okay. So we're just gonna take it out of the bowl. And this is the consistency that you would want. So we're going to lightly flour our surface and our rolling pin. Once your dough is about a quarter of an inch thick, you're going to put it into a pie tin and crimp the edges so it'll look a little bit like this. So once you've formed your pie crust, you're going to move on to the next step, which is the apple filling for your Dutch apple pie. And I use six medium Granny Smith apples, and I use Granny Smith apples because they're a firm, tart apple that can withstand the long cooking process. So once you peel those and you slice those to a quarter of an inch, you add your sugar, your flour, and your cinnamon. And you just dump them in the bowl, there's no order. This is when you can get your hands dirty. And if any of the apples stick together, just pull them apart and make sure everything is evenly coated. All the sugar and goodness gets on there. Once all the dry ingredients are incorporated with your apples, you're gonna set this aside because the sugar will actually draw out the moisture from the apples. So that way when you slice the pie, it'll actually keep its shape and it won't be soggy in the middle. Okay. So now we do the topping, which is a brown sugar topping. And it consists of earth balance, brown sugar and flour. It's really simple and easy. You just add your flour and your brown sugar, and you're gonna mix it on medium speed until it's combined. Now that your brown sugar and your flour are combined, you add your earth balance. And earth balance is just a vegan butter substitute. It's comprised of cold pressed olive oil and soybean oil. And you just cut it into one tablespoon sized pieces. And while the mixer is on, you add these and it will resemble coarse sand by the time it's finished. So at this stage, you want to keep a close eye on it, be patient, take your time, and remember it's supposed to look like coarse sand when you're done. So this is great, it looks like coarse sand. So we're gonna take this off of here, I'm just gonna set this aside while we put our apples in our pie crust. And remember, you don't wanna get any of the liquid. There's a lot of liquid in here, so make sure you don't put that in your pie. So you just scoop it one handful at a time. And I know this looks very messy, but baking is a dirty job and somebody has to do it. So I'm happy that it's me. So you wanna make sure you pat down the apples so that way they get in all the cracks and crevices and you don't have any empty holes in the middle of your pie. 
everything's patted down and let's just get rid of this and we're gonna put the crumb topping on next. And you just pile it right on the top. And you wanna make sure you get it all over the sides and cover up all of the apples. Once all of this is on there, just kind of pat it down so it stays in place. And you're going to use a foil lined cookie sheet for easy cleanup. And then you're gonna cover the top of the pie with another sheet of foil so that way the crust doesn't burn. So now your pie is ready for the oven and you're gonna bake your pie at 425 degrees for 35 minutes. After the 35 minutes are up, you take off the foil and you turn on the oven to 350 for 10 minutes to brown the crust. Let's get this baby in the oven. Here's the finished product, your Dutch apple pie. And it baked in the oven for a total of 45 minutes. I put it on a wire rack to cool for an hour. And now here's the best part. You get to finally eat the pie. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have as much fun making your Dutch apple pie from my cookbook, Sweet Vegan, as I did. This looks so delicious, I can't wait to dig in.